Hi everyone, my name is Joseph Luong in collaboration with Clickersnap.com, the world's first photo hosting site that pays you every time someone looks at your photo. And today I would like to share with you just a brief intro to Lightroom, that is the import and organizing your photos. Now aside from photo retouching, which we will get to in later videos, Lightroom acts as a filing or sorting system for your entire image library. So if you do it right the first time, you organize it and you put keywords and tag it, it will save you a ton of times later on when you need to search for a specific image or groups of images out of thousands of images in your library. So let's find out. Now the first step after opening Lightroom is the import step. You click on the import button on the bottom left of your screen and an import dialog or window will appear. On the top bar you will see three sections. Left is from which is where your source photos are. Center is what you want to do with these photos or how to import them. And last is where you want to store these photos on your computer. Now there are two ways of importing photos that we use most of the time. The first one is when you take pictures from your camera. You take out your memory card and you put into your computer and then what you want to do is you copy the images from your ca camera's memory card into your computer hard drive and at the same time creating a database of your photos in Lightroom. The second way is when your photos already exist in your computer's hard drive and the only thing you need is just to create a database in your Lightroom. So it's basically a link from your Lightroom to your photos in your computer hard drive. Now just a side note, Lightroom is a filing or sorting system and it does not contain your actual images. It just creates a link to your photo in your computer hard drive. So you can think of it like a library catalog. It has information about a book that you're looking for including what the book is, what the book is about, everything about the book, but it does not contain the book itself. Lightroom is in the same way. So let's get back to importing. Now I have a memory card that I put into my computer and automatically Lightroom detects it but if in case you can't find it you can click on it from and go to other source and then you find where your uh, card reader or your memory card is located. And then in the middle there are four options. Right now there's only two that I can pick. I either copy as DNG which it will copy all your photos to a new location but before it copy it will, have, it will convert to DNG format. And the second option is copy which is copy the photos in whatever format it is. In this case what I have is the raw format and would add a catalog to the Lightroom. Move and add is when you have the photos already on your computer. So move is actually move from one place to another place inside your computer and it add a catalog to the Lightroom. Now add is when you want just the photo where it is and you just add them to your Lightroom. And in this case I'm going to copy which I will do 100% of the time because it's a raw format that I can work already so there's no need for me to convert to DNG. 2. This is where your photos will be stored. An important note is that it's much better that you store all your photos inside one main or master folder like my pictures and then have subfolders in it for organizing purpose. So for me for example I put all my photos into pictures folder and in this pictures folder are subfolders that I organize by year and months and location where the photo was taken. So I'd have folders like 2017 January Cuba or 2016 October USA. And the main reason for having everything inside one main or master folder is that in the event when your hard disk space runs out or you want to change to a new computer and you would need to transfer or back up your entire photo image library, you would only need to move that one main folder to the new source. So it saves you a lot of time. 
Now below the two options on the right side are more tabs or options that you can add or make changes to your photo. Let's go over some of them. So you can click them to open and then click them to close. So in the file handling tab, in the build smart previews, what it does it it will allow you to edit your images while your hard drive containing your original image is disconnected. Now it's good when you use portable hard drive for things like switch between a laptop and a desktop, but building smart previews also takes up your hard drive space. So I'm going to leave it unchecked because I'm using on a computer and I don't need it to switch between a desktop or a laptop at the moment. Now the second one is don't import suspected duplicates. Now this helps when you have lots of photos and you already have some of them already import into Lightroom and what it does it will not uh, import it again into Lightroom which will make uh, duplicates of itself and uh, it will make the library more manageable when you click this. The third one is make a second copy which is when you have another hard drive, an external hard drive and you want to make a copy to it for backup purposes you can click on it and you can find where that location is and it will copy to your computer and also a second copy to that portable hard drive. The second tab is file renaming. Now renaming files instead of uh, using a camera assigned numbers which as you take more and more pictures or when you buy a new camera you're going to end up with multiple images with the same uh, file name for example DSC12345 for example so in file renaming you can rename if you want or you don't have to but if you want to rename it you can also assign a date and timestamp or even seconds for those uh, time-lapse pictures or multiple photos like HDR so for example let's say you go in file name and you can edit them in the edit section so you can see it here it has the file name so you, you see the example right here you can change them you click on it and you click on the backspace and then you can add whatever you wish so for example you can add uh, let's say you put you just want the the year, the date, the month, and the year, for example. And then you want to add more, let's say, the hour. You can add on the hour, you can also add on minute, and you can add second. That's what you can do. So, but for this purpose, I'm gonna leave it unchecked. You can leave it checked if you like to. Third one is applied during import. Now this there's two things I want you to look at. First is the metadata. Okay, so you click on it. You could add a new metadata and you can leave everything unchecked. And you can go down like the same thing, you can click to open or click to close. You go down to IT IPTC copyright. So this is the copyrighted information which will be embedded in the metadata of your photo so you can let's say you can put your uh, copyright name if you want and you also in the next bar you can put your name your address all the information that you want let's say a person want to contact you when they look at the photo uh, metadata so you can put your email address or you can put on the website let's, let's put this Okay, I'm going to put my copyright name and the website. And you can create it. Put a preset name and press create. There you go. And the keywords are the search words when you can tag your photos. This is global keywords. So it's better that the keyword contains something in common for all of the photos. If you want to just put uh, different tags for different photos or groups of photos, we can do that after we import in the library module. So this for these general uh, groups of images, I'm just going to put one main keyword, which is click a snap. 
okay and then the last one is the destination which where you want to your photo is so I already said it's in my pictures I'll show you where it is so in my pictures it's already organized into date and month and the year well not really the date so in my pictures and I want to put into subfolders so I will rename this subfolder 2017 March click a snap and it will create the subfolder inside for me I don't have to do it it will create that subfolder and it will put all these images into this subfolder now let's go to the central section so you can uncheck all of them or you can check all of them which whatever the check mark is that's what the Im the image will be import into the Lightroom and will be copy onto your computer hard drive so let's say for example you don't want all of them you just want a few of them so you can check it but you have to click on where the little box is if you ch click on the outside it won't work as you can see when I'm clicking here nothing works it's only selecting the photos but not the check mark so you press the check mark where the box is that's when the check mark appear that means it will be copied to your computer and it will add a catalog to the Lightroom okay so this time I'm gonna check mark all of them because I want to import all of them and just you press the import button and that's it, it well thanks for watching and I hope to see you in the next video where we'll talk about keywording and tagging your photos library for organizing purpose thanks for watching